Maybe. Batman statue collector I hope you're all doing great out there and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat collectibles now if it's your first time viewing I would hope that you would hit that subscribe button hit that like button and click that notification bell make sure you choose all that way you don't miss any of this content because I think you're really going to like our reviews and unboxings here on the channel now with that said Speaking of reviews and unboxings, look at what I have here. This is a grail, in my opinion. Now, the reason why it's a grail, it's not because it's my favorite character of all time. It's because this was the last piece of the puzzle in my Diamond Select Batman the Animated Series line. And as you guys know, a lot of you uh, over the last year saw me collect all of those different busts. And some were easy to find. Some were very difficult, some were very expensive in the $300 range, which was a lot considering these retailed around 60, 70 bucks. But we uh, had Diamond Select on the channel and I asked them about, you know, because certain ones like Mr. Freeze and Riddler and Penguin, some of those, it seemed like they were a lot more harder to find. And the reason is, is because they didn't make all of the allotment that they said they were going to make. They only made like half. And so Diamond Select came out and said, hey, we're going to finish that run. We're going to finish the ones that <clears throat> were hard and rare to find. And this was one of them. So uh, I am so incredibly excited to get this one in. This, of course, is the Mask of the Phantasm. I have the Unmasked Portrait, which is easy to find, but this was the Masked one. And I'm just so incredibly thrilled to finally be able to complete my collection the way I want it. Of course, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you uh, what they all look like together in the display. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and open this uh, bad, I was going to say bad boy out, but it's not a bad boy, it's a bad girl out. So here we go. Let's open this up. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Uh, so this is, uh, again, this was an allotment of 3,000. So hopefully you guys can see that okay. Uh, hopefully it's picking up, uh, or at least uh, somewhat. There we go, maybe. Um, but anyway, it was uh, 596 of 3,000. So again, not, not very high number, uh, which is good. Let's go ahead and take it out of the styrofoam here. Maybe. That's not good. Well, she's back up on the table here after that uh, awful accident right there. Hopefully, hopefully she survived that fall. We shall see. So again, fingers crossed, pray with me here and see if she survived that. Oh, that was scary. Okay, so let's open that up and we'll see what we get. Oh, I think she survived, guys. All right. Oh, I'm so excited to finally add this one to my collection. Now, some of you might already have this one if you were lucky enough to find the original release. But again, 596 of 3,000. Oh, I love it. I love it. Again, Mask of the Phantasm. Absolutely fantastic. Um, she looks phenomenal. Um, it's exactly what I was hoping for. Definitely survived the fall. Uh, so anyway, uh, I know you guys want to see some close-ups of her. So let's go ahead and put her on the turntable. And then I will show you uh, her with the rest of the collection. All right guys, so I have her set up here on the table and just look how cool this looks. Absolutely fantastic. I'll give you kind of a quick pan down here. Of course, this is an ultra stylistic, uh, just like it was in the animated series. And I'm just so incredibly glad to have this as part of my collection. And let's start with the base like we always do. Of course, it has that brown art deco style. Um, nothing too fancy about it at all. It's very simplistic, um, but it looks very good. But what stands out, of course, is it's got that green smoke, which is really nice, kind of a translucent resin material. Of course, that is what she uses to uh, surround herself, to hide into the darkness and create that uh, you know mystery character that she is in the film. It's just really well done. And then, of course, as you go up the statue itself, you notice the black undersuit, which looks really good. The cloak, the uh, kind of the clenched, uh, angry fist looks really good. Uh, the mask, I always think it kind of is a Casey Jones-esque uh, mask. I think it looks really good, though. I just think she's fantastic. And then, of course, she's got the claw at the top. 
kind of give you kind of a 360 spin of her um, cape billowing in the back. I just, I love it. It's simple and it's so weird that, you know, this is the one that I've been looking for forever. Uh, I didn't want to spend three or $400 on her. And so I'm really, really happy that uh, they, uh, Diamond Select did release uh, these back out. Uh, so if there are ones that you are having trouble finding, uh, you know, do some research, you'll find them um, for, you know, at retail at least. Um, this again is a uh, pure polystone. So it is a resin material, it is heavy. Um, and let me show you the bottom here. Let me switch hands and show you the bottom of the base if you didn't want to see that. So that's very cool. And then I also wanted to bring in, sorry for my camera shake there, but I wanted to bring in both of them so you could see them kind of side by side here. Um, there we go, focus. Um, so again, this one's really cool too because it's you know her unmasked with the mask in her hand, and then this one is you know more of the villain itself. You know, so I really like both of these. Uh, I probably will only keep the new version though. Um, so if you're interested in picking up this version and adding it to your collection, um, I will probably be selling her, but, um, it's just how cool to have them both in the collection. Finally, again, very similar, uh, very similar. You know, the sculpt is very, very much the same other than of course, you know, here she's unmasking and here she's getting ready to threaten someone. So it's pretty awesome. But anyway, I'm so incredibly glad that I have these both back in the collection. And uh, now as promised, uh, I want to show you this one in the entire rogues gallery. All right, guys, so here is my collection. And if you've uh, seen most of my reviews or maybe my room tour, you may have seen this, but some of you might have missed this in my collection because I don't highlight it all that often. But uh, let me go ahead and show you all the different characters that I have here. Again, uh, Ra's al Ghul, which looks incredible. We've got Bane back there behind. Of course, Clayface looking amazing. It's my one of my favorites in the collection. Uh, we have a Catwoman here with her cat. And Poison Ivy, again, all in that classic animated style. Got uh, Jervis back there, the Mad Hatter, looking good. We've got, of course, one of my favorites, Two-Face. Joker, front and center, of course, where else would he be? We've got Harley Quinn. Now, this is not one of the busts. This is another piece from Diamond Select where she's captured Batman. I do have the bust. A collector sent me the bust, uh, but I do like this look. And so I've kept her like this kind of front and center over the Joker. I just really like the way that looks. Of course, we've got Scarecrow here, which is, again, one of my favorites. Another one that was really hard to find. Freeze was hard to find. Of course, uh, the Riddler. Not very many Riddlers in Polystone, guys. Penguin, same thing there with Penguin. We've got Man Bat, one of the biggest ones for sure. Killer Croc. And then last but not least, the brand new, of course, Mask of the Phantasm back there. Oh, she doesn't want to focus. There we go, guys. Looking good back there. So again, let me just kind of give you a pan real quick of the whole collection. Again, uh, my theme, Batman, surrounded by his rogues. Absolutely love this. And I'm so incredibly glad to finally have the Mask of the Phantasm in my collection, uh, like she should be. I'm really, really happy. And uh, I want to know your thoughts, though. Uh, is there anyone that you're looking for in particular? Uh, let me know in the comments down below what do you think of this collection. And I'm just, again, I'm so happy that it's finally, finally complete. And uh, I would love for Diamond Select to do a few more. I've got some room. Not a lot, but I've got a little bit. I think I can make another riser back there. Um, but I would love to see them do a few more villains. It would be really cool because there are some that they haven't done yet. Um, and hopefully these uh, re-releases re um, are selling well um, for Diamond Select. So anyway, thank you guys so very much for checking this out today. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Click that notification bell. Make sure you choose all. And again, just thank you guys so very much for spending some time with me doing this real quick review and unboxing of the Mask of the Phantasm from Diamond Select. Thank you guys so very much. I'll see you next time right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.